is Charlotte Fagan. I'm an account development associate, associate with Amara, and I live in Boston, Massachusetts. When you start working for Amara, and why you start, uh, why you decided to work for this organization? I was drawn to the mission of Amara because I, for a long time, have actually made a lot of videos and put them online and edited them. Uh, and I'm very interested in how translation happens on YouTube. Um, and so I used to work on a project with bike mechanics and translating it into a bike mechanic video manual and translating it into different languages. And so when I saw this job post at Amara, I thought, wow, this really combines a lot of my interests. Do you have your own uh, YouTube channel or you edit it for other organizations? Video work that I've done before, um, I used to work at an organization here in Boston called Bikes Not Bombs, which is when we worked on this video mechanics manual and thought a lot about how do you reach different audiences around the world because so much content is available about bike repair on YouTube, but only in English. And so we started producing videos that were also available in Spanish. And those videos were really popular. Um, so those are probably the most popular videos that I've worked on on YouTube, on the Bikes Not Bombs YouTube channel. Um, and I also, on Vimeo, have a series of videos up. Um, and my username is called Woman on a Wheel, which is my blog about women's cycling culture around the world. And you also take part in a lot of different bike-related uh uh, activity initiated before you come to Amara. Can you talk about a one of them called Cartagena in BC? Oh yeah, that one. Cartagena in BC. <laughs> Cartagena in BC is also interesting because of uh, since Amara works with translation. Cartagena is a Quechua word, um, which is an indigenous community in South America, and the literal translation for Cartagena into Spanish is a woman with little abilities in the kitchen. Um, and it's often referred to women who, in English, we would call them tomboys as a slang. Um, but for, uh, so I was in Ecuador working at a bike shop and a customer came in and saw me working on a bicycle and said, oh, que carichina, which is really meant as an insult, but I kind of liked the word. And so some friends and I together, we got together and formed this group called Carichina in BC, and we organized a lot of different events to get more women riding bikes in Ecuador. Uh, do you have any opinion about what do you think the future of translation might be? Overall, I think that translation continues to be more and more important as we have a more interconnected world and as different communities interact with each other more, they need translators in between them. In general, the future is just the growing importance of translation as a really important localization solution for businesses and just an interpersonal, you know, as people want to connect with people around the world who speak another language. Mm -hmm.